time to get cooking. We're here with Master Chef winner Kelsey Murphy. Excited for this today. Yeah. Talking to meatballs. Who doesn't mm -hmm. love meatballs? I know. Right? Exactly. That's rhetorical, right? I'm trying to go through my list of family members. You're yeah. trying to see if you know anyone. Yeah. But you're right. Meatballs are fantastic. Right. And they're very versatile. So it's just, you know, they can be like made into anything, flavored into anything. But there is a little trick to it. Okay. So we're going to kind of show some tricks of the trade nice. on how to ensure that your meatballs are perfect every time and kind of show their versatility today. I've got like quite a few different types of meatballs in okay. here that we're gonna go through. I love it. It's Ready? so good. Yeah, learning yes. from a master chef. Learning from go. a master chef. So um, we're starting with, I'm gonna show you basically just like a basic meatball mix. Okay. So in here, all I have is some ground beef and pork. And I actually, a little secret to my meatballs is some mortadella, which is just bologna. Mortadella, oh, okay. yeah. fancy yeah. name for bologna. Yeah, so you can like okay. pulse it up and you can just, in, Mortadella can be really expensive, so if you want to just like buy bologna, yeah. that's really fine. Yeah. And you can either uh -huh. chop it really finely or pulse it up so it's like the same texture as meat. Okay. And it tastes so, so good. So it's a flavor meatballs. thing. Yeah, it's okay. a flavor oh, thing and a little a kind tip. of moisture thing. Okay. Because um, it adds that little fattiness to it. It's cool. so good. So okay. a little one trick there. So all I have is those meat mixtures in there, and then I have panko breadcrumbs and some Parmesan cheese. Okay. Nice. And then we're going to crack an egg in yeah. here. She does um, that so effortlessly. So yeah. I think last time though on the show I like messed it up, so I was <laughs> successful today. That was so, natural. You never know. Yeah. Um, and then you want to like add in all your seasonings. So you got salt, pepper, like oregano, whatever you want okay. in there. Yeah. Um, add in your seasonings. But the basic of that is that you need the breadcrumbs in there, you need the egg in there as a binder, and okay. the cheese. Those those things together okay. help kind of hold the meatball together. Okay. Um, and then the very important step when you're mixing is to not go like hog wild at it. Oh. So. Like you want to, you want to be gently gentle. Massage. Oh, you wanna gently a gentle massage. massage. A gentle massage. Like yeah. if we start to like work this, or like you put it in like your mixer and like put it, like so you've yeah. seen people do that sure, sometimes. Sure. It turns the meatballs super dense, and that's where you get those hockey puck meatballs. Okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. Good to know. This is a yeah. great tip. So it's okay. kind of like when you're baking, they say like just mix the flour until it's just incorporated because yeah. it'll mm. develop gluten and stuff if you mix it too much. Okay. The meat is the same way. The kind of like the fat and everything together and the proteins in there, yeah. they get mixed too tightly. Okay. And then they get super dense. Interesting. So you just okay. like wanted to get it mostly mixed together. <laughs> Um, and then you go, that's it. Yeah. Nice. And we just roll them up and nice. we got meatballs. Okay. So oh, that's great. That's the meatball mix. Perfect. And that goes with like any, any type of meatball you're making. Okay. You don't want to like go crazy with it when you're mixing. Yeah. So less is more. I love it. Less what are we seeing more. here? We got about a okay. minute left. Oh gosh. Okay. We got to go. So here we I is this dish. So we're mm. making some Swedish meatballs, Ikea oh, style. Really but good. these are vegetarian. Okay. So oh, yeah, wow. well, you're, you immediately were like, oh. Okay. God. Okay. Not good vegetarian. So, food. Okay. and they don't have to be, but this is yeah. just a really good option for people Fun that option. are. Fun option, yes. So here I am using, you can just pour this all in. Okay. Just go for it. We okay. got buckwheat, which okay. is um, a really good grain uh -huh. um, to use. We got, again, panko breadcrumbs. Oh, that's the panko. Okay, here we right. have some pulsed okay. mushrooms. All right. Adds that like mer like meaty earthiness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we have some garbanzos. I'll help Ooh. you go oh, for it. AKA yeah. chickpeas. Tons of seasonings, aka chickpeas. Yeah. Although some people say they are different. I'm not really, really? sure on that one. Okay. Some right. sour cream because uh -huh. that's really what makes Swedish meatballs Swedish meatballs. Oh, okay. Is sour oh. cream. And then of course your egg. Egg for binder. And then again, same thing, we would mix that all up and it turns into our Swedish meatballs. And, voila. Oh, and we make nice. a very simple so. gravy with a Swedish meatballs. These are, these are posted on my um, website right now anyway. Okay. Um, so you can try, this is the vegetarian meatball. Yeah. Um, it <laughs> yep, almost get it, fell. get it. Here we go. I don't oh, wanna, you have a spoon. I don't want to oh, drop you went, the meatball. you went the whole mm -hmm. thing. Like, I went whole meatball in there. You went the, yeah, whole, meatball. the whole thing. That's I, great. Yeah, it's great. Really, really good. Yeah, it's really good. And then mm. over here, Ooh, we have some good. butter chicken meatballs. Oh, so my Indian friends, those are like, Indian food lovers, this is like where you go. These Those are, are so good. Absolutely. Super simple, basic meatball with a really easy butter chicken sauce. Yeah. These are my favorite. Um, they're That's pretty great. addicting. Um, yeah. What do you think? Oh, I love this. Yeah, it's tasty, right? It's tasty I would never guess healthy. that this was Yeah, um, But vegetarian. the texture is, so is very good. similar mm. to meat. It is. Yeah, the I texture love is it. very oh similar. Kelsey, you're doing it right. Do you love it? Yeah. Those Where can are, people follow along with you? Yeah, so um, mm. everywhere you can find me, um, Chef Kelsey Murphy. So social at Chef Kelsey Murphy. You can find me at Inspo, at the Pigeon yeah. Test Kitchen, um, at Lucas Oil if you're going to motocross or sport, sport cross, whatever they call yeah, it this yeah. weekend. 
If you're going to Lucas Oil this weekend, come visit yeah. me outside Section 132. Okay. We'll be serving my food. So, love yeah. it. Incredible. And again, all these are on my website at chefkelseymurphy.com. Really tasty. good flavor. Thanks yep. for sharing your Thank secrets. You. You're welcome. It's, fun. it's been it. great to make for dinner tonight. Love it. Still to come, our friends from Civic Theater are here to give us a preview of their production of Agatha Christie's Murder on the Orient Express. We'll get a preview of the show and give you a chance to win some tickets. We'll be right back. Stick around. Ooh.